hey, how you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. Um, or a little bit before Thanksgiving or a little bit after Thanksgiving, depending on when you're watching this. Happy holidays, I guess, um, since we're cruising right into Advent on Sunday. Um, I was just out doing some last minute shopping for Thanksgiving dinner mostly. I have some little list of ingredients and there were just some things we missed when we were at Market Basket earlier this week. And I was going around and I have to say things are getting pretty desperate out there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of food and I'm sure whatever decorations you need to get, but people seem to be starting to get a little bit frantic. So, uh, so I came home. I came home and I looked in my fridge. I realized I have more than enough food to feed everybody um, in a five day snowstorm um, and certainly on Thanksgiving and the days around it. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna see what happens. I think we'll be all right. There might be a pie or two less, but it'll be okay. Um, I hope that you are also coming to terms with the franticness and remembering that what's really important this time of year is to take your time, um, to pause, to wait, um, you know, certainly Thanksgiving, but also Advent. Um, neither of them are really about the big party. Um, we, we tend to think they are because we're getting a lot of messages from other places about how happy we should be and how excited we should be and how, you know, crazy fun everything should be, um, often requiring the purchase of extra things. Um, and none of that is really what's most important. And I know we say stuff like that, you know, there's plenty of holiday specials with the same message, but you know, I'm not sure that we can be reminded enough um, that, that we really do need to center ourselves a little bit and think about the big picture, right? On Sunday, we were talking about faith, hope, and love, and gratitude um, this past Sunday. And then actually a little bit earlier at our very first dinner church Vespers service, we did the same thing. We, we gathered together and we spent a little time thinking and, and being connected both to the people who are there and the people who are not, and also to the divine, whatever that may mean for you. Obviously, it's a variety of, of, of experiences and opinions um, on that. But, um, but yeah, I, th I think it's important that we, that we do take this time one step at a time. So what I thought I'd do today is instead of a reading, I thought we'd just take a moment in silence, probably about a minute. And I know it's a little weird on the YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're seeing this video. And I will put up some landscapes, take a lot of landscapes for the old Instagram. I'll put those up so you're not staring at me the whole time, which would be a little freaky, I'm sure. But let's try to do that. Let's take a full minute um, of just sitting here quietly. And while you're sitting quietly, there's nothing you have to do. You know, if you're feeling grateful, you can think about being grateful. If you're feeling frantic, go with that. If you're like super pissed because, you know, you have so much stuff to do and nothing's getting done. And so you're getting mad at the people around you go ahead and be pissed. It's all right. It's a thing that we have to do sometimes. So um, I'm going to, um, I'm using my phone because you know, that's what happens. I'm going to set a timer for one minute and um, let's see. All right. Ready? Here we go.
Okay, my timer says we are done with that. Um, hope it's helpful. Feel free to come back if you need someone to make you be quiet. If not, you've all got cell phones. Instead of checking your text messages or your Facebook updates or WeMe or whatever you're into, um, just go to your timer, set a little time, and then just, just veg out for a minute. Um, everything is now a minute later than, than what you probably would have done if you were running around, but hopefully you were able to collect yourself a little bit and um, be intentional a little bit more. I know I have. I've just decided that I'm also not cooking something else for Thanksgiving dinner. In fact, I won't tell you what it is because my family will see this video. Anyway, um, I hope to see you around this advent too because you know thanksgiving leads into advent sort of accidentally the first sunday in advent is december 1st this year and we're going to play it pretty low key there too there's basically just two big rituals um we do our sanctuary lighting where we do some readings that we're going to use later in the month and after each reading someone lights a candle in the window um, that's nice uh, very low key you know, we might put you to work as a reader, or we might not. It depends on how many people show up. And then, you know, maybe I'll say some things in the middle, and then we'll have communion and coffee hour. So I hope you can make it um, to church. And so, yeah, just remember, it's all about being present and being grateful and waiting for the next thing. And not so much about the preparing and the, ac the acquiring and the building up that can often lead to a lot of stress and a certain amount of disappointment when we actually get to the thing we're waiting for. So, um, so yeah, hang in there. Um, if you need me, you know how to get in touch.